Hello, this is Bini here. Today, let's do a quick update um, in the morning for HSI. This is because HSI is moving very nicely according to what I've mentioned in this video here. So I want to point out some of the key levels and something for you guys to look at. It's really noisy if you hear the background, pardon for that, because then they built a new car park and then like, like maybe like two years later, they are now tearing it down because I think that the cars aren't parking because that's, I don't think that people are buying cars okay? because in Singapore, the COE, which is this certificate to own a car, it's really expensive. It's like equal to a car or maybe like two cars at your place. So let's take a look at right now HSI. Price went to the low of the channel and I said that we will be drawing in a wash line here. So this is the wash line that I've mapped out and uh, it works really well for the wash line for the wash and rinse, isn't it? Not only that because of the wash line, okay, it's also because that when price moved above the wash line, it will also move above this low point here. So in other words, right, we are not talking about a wash and rinse that is just about the wash line. We are talking about a wash and rinse that also wash and rinse its own low. Okay, so and, and that's really one of the key reasons technically why Hang Seng moved up. And of course, um, with all the good news to come and all the bad news uh, disappearing, Hang Seng is really moving up above the uh, wash line and trading very well. The key level I want to bring up to you is this level here, which is about 19,000. Now, why is it this level? See that there is a gap between the low of the few bars to uh, here, all right. So this um, was the gap, and this gap gap came about because of the news on Country Garden. Uh, that to me is more like a sentimental issue because we know that uh, from Evergrande, the, the situation on Chinese property stocks they were bad already, and if you look at the scale of Country Garden, it's really tiny or small compared to the scale in Evergrande. Right, so I think that the worst news was over and uh, the, the blow up of Evergrande already gave us a clue that something could happen to Country Garden. And so when Country Garden news came about, I see that as really pushing down price, causing all that wash and means just to trigger stop loss. And if it ever moved up, that would be a very, very strong move. Okay, so we're seeing at HSI continue to move up and the next key level to watch out for is actually 19,000. Okay, so key level to watch out for for 19,000 and I believe that HSI is very likely to close the gap. I just thought of uh, bringing in, uh, because in the previous video I talked about uh, using warrants. Alright, so I just want to bring up this warrants here. So this is the warrant. The, there are new warrants constantly being released every moment. So right now the trending warrant, the one with fire, is this warrant here. But previously when I talk about the video, uh, the warrant that I've used was ZP4W. And this is the refresh price of ZP4W, the one I talk about. Okay, so that's about uh, 10 cent right now. Okay, and when I talk about the HSI at that point of time was about 6.6 .6 cents. So this warrant's actually moved up quite substantially already. So as I mentioned, it's a short-term uh, warrant. So if I'm looking at, for example, 19,000, uh, for the uh, long run, all right, uh, for, not for the long run, for the short run, short term, um, let's say in two weeks time, uh, then how would the warrants perform? So if I'm uh, looking at today to hit the 19,000, so it's uh, about 12 cents. So from what I mentioned, it's probably 100% return. And if it's, that's going to happen like one week later, then it's 11.2 cents. Okay, all right. So these are, you know, short term trading instruments. You shouldn't be holding that for too long. Okay, so coming back into another chart, which is Hang Seng Tech, because I think that Hang Seng Tech is so much stronger than HSI. I just want to point out then which are the key resistance of Hang Seng Tech and what's Hang Seng Tech doing right now. Okay, a few things. If you have a look into Hang Seng Tech, uh, I mentioned that Hang Seng Tech is so much stronger because then there's a structural change, right? Because we have a high point here and this actually make a higher high. The recent drop in Hang Seng Tech, that's um, making a low point, but this low point here, if you compare to each of the previous low, they are in fact a higher low, a higher low from this 
point here and then a higher low from this point here so in this case it's making Hang Seng Tech a lot more stronger than HSI okay so that's uh, what I think because the higher low sort of affirm that Hang Seng Tech it's on its way to the uptrend although I have to say is that long term is still not uptrend long term to me is still in a ranging situation but it's it's so much stronger than uh, HSI Okay. So in terms of resistance, where am I looking at? I'm, I'm suspecting that there might be a bit of a resistance coming inside here. Okay, at about uh, 4,380. We are back into the 4,380 level again. So this level keeps playing here and there. And uh, the next level, um, of course, would be this level here, which is again back into the 4,650. But one line that you have to take note of, one line, okay, and that's this trend line here. Okay, so this is the trend line that you have to take note of. Uh, you, I might need to shift it slightly higher to, to take care of this higher point um, so I'm probably just gonna draw it as a zone so this is more like a zone here and all this are all confluencing pointing to a very strong resistant level here at this zone which I think is gonna come around at about 4006 plus minus around this price okay so a few levels we are looking at 4380 again back to that level and next would be 4600 plus minus Okay. Um, so that's the update for today and if you like my update remember please hit the subscribe button because that's um, when you get your notification when I launch a new video or scan this QR code where I update you in the telegram channel and that will be a lot more faster and I see you in my next video